Hey guys and welcome to today's video where I thought I'd give you an update on all of my geckos. It's been a while. I know back in the day when I used to do the weigh-in videos you would get literally like a monthly update on how everyone's doing. So I thought I would do this today. Today we are going to start with Lyra and I will be inputting clips um, so you don't have to just watch these floating hands and a gecko all the time. But yeah, so let's talk about how Lyra's been doing. So Lyra started the year off at 53 grams, which is pretty usual for her. Her highest this year has been 55. Um, when I last weighed her, which was at the end of November, she was 51. I'm not overly worried. With crested geckos, their weight really doesn't change that much. I would say in my experience, if you're a bit worried about a leopard gecko, especially a female, going off their food, weight changes and all of that, crested geckos are so much easier, like less worry. I think the biggest thing is in the summer when it gets so hot, we've had to get an air conditioning unit, mainly for Lyra and Drogo because they can't go over like 82 degrees. Also, Lyra is now seven years old. I know when I got her, she was about a year and a half, but I can't believe how the time has just flown by. Let me know below if you were watching when I first got Lyra. It's just, I can't believe she's seven now. Also this year, she has laid two, potentially four eggs. I did find the two and then a month later I saw her digging around a lot more and I thought maybe she laid two but she does have quite a big tank so and she always likes to lay them between the roots of the plants so they're difficult to get to which is quite smart of her. Um, so yeah maybe two or four eggs this year. Next up we have Minnie. So she started the year on 65 grams and by November she is 62. Now I always weigh my geckos on the 27th of the month and since I am filming this a couple weeks in advance I haven't weighed her yet but I'm pretty sure she's going to get back to her beginning weight really quickly. And what's really surprising is this year was a record breaking year for her because she laid 8 eggs. Yes, and considering she laid eight eggs and she's gained the weight back on so well is just shocking, especially for Minnie. Minnie's always been one who can be a bit picky with food sometimes, but she has done so well. She is 14 years old now as well, so I didn't really expect her to be popping out eight eggs at 14, but you know, nevertheless. And something really exciting that's happening um, in the new year is, um, you know how I have a uh, tower? So I have Gizmo's tank and Diego's tank. Gizmo's is a 60 gallon and Diego's is an 80 gallon tank. Well, we're getting a second tower from Custom Reptile Habitats. I'll leave their link below. Um, so Minnie will be moving into the 60 gallon one like Gizmo and Maui will be getting the 80 gallon one. But yes, this means Minnie finally gets an upgrade like Gizmo. I'm so excited. I don't know how much, honestly, she's going to use because although she does go from one high to another, with her dodgy eye, she does tend to stay in one place more often and not explore quite as much but it'll be interesting to see how she reacts and obviously it doesn't really matter to me I'd rather give her like plenty of space and her decide to just stay in one place if she wants to um that is fine by me but I'm just really excited to give her the upgrade Talking of upgrades, Drogo of course had an upgrade this year. He went from a 45 by 45 by 60 centimeter terrarium to a 60 by 45 by 60 terrarium. And I'm so happy I upgraded him. Um, he is now actually five years old. He turns five in December. Um, so yeah, if you remember me getting Drogo, do you feel old yet? Because <laughs> I do. Um, so yeah, he is five. Weight wise, he's always around 53 grams. Like Lyra, his weight really doesn't change that much during the year, so that is great. It's a lot less stress than the leopard geckos. Um, he eats insects, he eats Pangea, he probably eats his cleanup crew now and again. I actually put a piece of cork in his tank, and so many of his giant orange isopods keep living under there, it's really cute. Um, in terms of how his tank's doing, the croton isn't doing so well because he kept pooping on the lower leaves until they died, um, but the big umbrella plant thing is doing really well. As you can see, he has got massive. If you remember, literally just earlier this year, I got him and he was like absolutely tiny. Well, he has grown rapidly. 
<laughs> I swear handling him he's not this skittish but I don't think he's used to the lights yet. So he is around 61, 62 grams. He has started to slow down with his weight gain which is perfectly fine. I think you know those first few months they are growing rapidly and changing a lot. <laughs> And then at like six months old, they get fed every other day. And so yeah, that growth rate can slow down. I'm not too concerned. He's doing really well. He's eating well. He absolutely loves to dig. He just completely transforms his landscape every day. That's the, that's the beauty of having like loose substrate. Like I know not everyone wants it, but um, what I find is they can really customize their house and it's great enrichment. As well as that, he will absolutely run and leap for his food. He will climb up his background and get it. He loves everything. So um, that's always good to see. Uh, he is around nine months old now. And once he gets to a year, he'll be fed every like three days. Um, and I know so many of you uh, mentioned that Maui looks like your gecko. <laughs> Um, in his little update video, I do mention what morph we think he is, so that might be the same as yours, but I'll leave that link if you want to see uh, that update. And as you can see, handling is okay. <laughs> I swear, without the light and the camera, he is fine. But if this helps, if you have a nine-month-old gecko and they're being really fast, especially in comparison to my other leopard geckos, that is normal. They are full of beans. Now, I did mention in mini section that Minnie and Maui are getting an upgrade. And yes, he is moving into an 80-gallon tank. It's three foot by two foot by two foot. So he's going to have the same size tank as Diego. I think he's going to utilize that space. Um, if you compare him to Minnie, for example, Minnie's a 14 year old gecko. He is nine months. He is in every different part of his vivarium already. So I think he is definitely going to get probably more use out of the extra space than Minnie, hence why he is in a slightly bigger tank. But other than that, he's doing so well, he's growing well, and as you can see, he is full of energy. Next, we have Mr. Diego, who started the year at 101 grams and is now currently 106. At his heaviest, he's been 108 this year. Now, it's quite normal for him to be around 95 to 105 grams. Um, so obviously, you know, he's a bit of a chunk. I'm not gonna lie, he's got his little armpit boobs going on, which I've only ever observed with him. And I remember thinking maybe it's an individual thing, like maybe just some geckos have it, some don't. And I was discussing it with a friend and we realised, well, males don't tend to have that period in time during spring and summer where they lose a lot of weight, so they probably store a lot. Um, so it could be that. It would be interesting to see if this happens to Maui. These come and go. I don't know how well you can see them. You might have noticed them on your own geckos. Um, but yeah, he is big what's interesting is he doesn't get fed any more than any other gecko if anything he gets less i definitely give gizmo and mini food a bit more often and obviously maui every other day so he actually doesn't get like tons of food or anything and he's really active like out of um him and gizmo he is the most active in terms of his like in his larger tank during the day he can be seen partial basking or be hidden away but during the evening he is out and about he's climbing he's exploring he's really alert and really active um so i mean i would say this is muscle but it's looking a bit more like junk i might do a video actually about gecko's weights in terms of if your gecko's overweight and what you can really do to reduce that because you might be in the same boat as me like you're not feeding them anymore but they're really storing it um also i'm sorry what's happening to the camera right now i haven't used this camera in ages so god knows um but yes this is how diego is doing he is chunky but he is uh healthy <laughs> And finally we have Gizmo. Now I'm going to film with her after this because I can't actually get to her at the moment, which I'll explain why now. So when I did her upgrade, she has this really large hot hide that has lots of different little crevices in and she loves to um, get in between them, get warm, but particularly she loves this little corner that has uh, driftwood and slate. And the problem is you can't really, you could take it apart, but it would mess up the entire structure of the uh, hot hide. And so a lot of the time I try to lure her out. Luckily she responds to a lot of me calling her name. So she does come out, 
Um, unfortunately, this can take a while and it usually works best on feeding days. Um, other than that though, she does often go about her tank, like she'll be on her branch, she'll be on her like cork hide, she goes to her cold hide to go to the toilet. So she does move around it, but if you can't find her in the tank, she is most likely in that corner. And right now she does not want to come out. And for me, I like to film at night because that's when my geckos are awake and if they're not coming out, I really don't want to force them out when I can get footage another time. Now, in terms of her weight, she started the year off at 66 grams. She's currently at 59. And though she does look chunkier than Minnie, it's surprising she's actually a fair bit less. So I'm really hoping she gains some more weight in winter. And what's actually interesting is this year, None of my geckos have gone off their food. I don't think any of them have gone into partial brumation. And to be fair, where I live, like the winter's been quite mild. I'm still going out in just like a hoodie, not a coat. It's a little bit nippy, I guess, but uh, really not that bad. So I wonder if that's why they're not uh, brumating. Maybe the air pressure hasn't dropped enough. Um, but it's good. It means she can keep gaining weight. Uh, in terms of eggs, she has only laid one clutch two eggs uh, this year so that's good because honestly I hate seeing them go through the egg laying thing so that's all good to me. But yeah I hope you've enjoyed this update. Um, of course we have fun things coming in the new year so make sure you are subscribed, you've got those notifications on. Please leave a like and comment, it really helps with the algorithm. I also want to quickly say thank you to the patrons of this channel who continue to support uh, throughout the year. Obviously if you do become a patron there are some benefits, you do get early access and ad free uh, videos the day before everyone else and some things through the post depending on the tier you're at. Thank you to you guys and also thank you to everyone who's bought merch or my ebook. It really helps and it really, you know, I'm really proud of finally doing that book but to see people actually buying it and enjoying it really means a lot. But yeah, thank you for watching guys and goodbye. <laughs>